All right, so to graph a problem like this, um, ladies and gentlemen, there's, remember, we can always put it into slope intercept form. We can also use the intercepts to solve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of forget I have inequalities right now. And I'm just going to pretend I have equations, because they're going to at least let me draw the graph the line. Then what I'll do is I'll go back and look at my inequalities, and I'll determine um, how my shading and my lines are going to look. So let's say I wanted just to graph the 2x plus y. And rather, like I said, I'm just going to forget I have an inequality for a second. And how would I graph this? Now, remember, there's two different ways um, we've talked about graphing. One way is to set it equal to y equals mx plus b, and then you know, use your slope and intercept. But you guys can also remember, we could also use x-intercepts and determine what the y-intercepts are. Right? x-intercept is when your y equals 0. Your y-intercept is when x equals 0. So one way to graph, or also maybe just to check your answer, is to check your x and y intercepts to see if those are going to work. So when y equals 0, I get 2x equals 4, which means x equals 2. And when x equals 0, I get y equals 4. Everybody follow me with what I did? I kind of did a little bit quicker math there. Right? I just plugged in 0 for one variable, solve for the other. So I get x equals 2, y equals 4. So x equals 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. y equals 4. So that's 2 comma 0, 0 comma 4. So I just found that x and the y intercepts. Now, we need to make sure we've got to be careful, though, because we've got to graph this. Um, and remember, if it's y, or I'm sorry, it's a less than or greater than, is it going to be a dash or a solid line? It's going to be a dash line, meaning that the points that are on this line are not a part of the solution. Okay, They are not a part of the solution. And if you just wanted to show your work, if you wanted me to show that to you, what do you mean that they're not a part of the solution? Is 0, 4 on the dashed line? Is that on the dashed line? Yes. So let's just plug it in just because I want to show you. So 2 times 0 plus 4 originally really is really less than 4. 4 is less than 4. Is 4 less than 4? False. So that's, that's false. So that's why we have the dashed line. If it was true, you'd have a solid line. What would make that true? If you had something like that, right? But that's why the equal to makes it a solid line, because it makes that statement true. All right. So now let's graph this one. Now, let's say you don't want to do the x and y intercepts, because um, you really understand slope intercept. Well, how do you do slope intercept? Solve for y, correct? So I'm just going to isolate y. And you could have just added it to the other side and then subtracted the 4. However, I want to show you, if you would have added it to the other side, then y would have been greater than, right? Well, here, I have negative y is still less than. That's, again, remember, when you divide by a negative number, you have to uh, make sure you flip the sign. Okay, Flip the sign. Notice it. I divide by or multiply by a negative number. Right? You flip the sign. So when I get to this, so I go down to negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then it's up 1, over 1. Up 1, over 1. Up 1, over 1. Up 1, over 1. And that's going to be a solid line. OK? So I write that in there. Y or, um, this one is x minus y less than or equal to 4. This line is 2x plus y is less than 4. Now remember, guys, just a shading, all you have to do, it doesn't matter what form your equation is in. You can use your original two equations. All you need to do to determine how do you shade is just to plug in your points. I'm sorry, plug in your test point. And the best test point to pick, all right, Sadiq, could you please put that on your desk so you can look up here? The best test points, and I'll put it on your desk, the best test points that I want you guys to pick are going to be 0, 0, unless the line goes through it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put 0 in for x and y of this equation. So 2 times 0 plus 0 is less than 4. 0 is less than 4. Is that true or false? True, right? So that equation is right here. Since that's true, we're going to shade all the points that are going to be below the line. And then I look at x minus 4 equals 0, and I just plug a 0 in for x and y. 0 is greater than or equal to negative 4. Is that true? Yes. So then you shade here. And then the only area where they sh cross, let both of them, where they you know, intersect, is in this feasible region. So we say 
That's going to be your feasible region. All right? And you can erase back the other parts and go through that. Any questions about shading? Just use your test points. That's the only question you guys should have on shading. Just use those test points. Yes? If you're going to use like this method, then I just want you to make sure you have it nice and soft shaded, you can remain those up there as long as you represent the shaded feasible region and you show it to me that that's your feasible region. Okay? So don't just assume that just because you have these intersected that I'm supposed to know that's your feasible region. So you're going to have to, if you're going to have them intersected, you've got to make sure you also show, oh, hey, here's, here's the feasible region. All right? Cool? Not cool. <laughs> <laughs>